Hi there, welcome back to Shadowcaster. I'm Baron, and I think it's time um, to equip a wand because we are nearing a boss fight. Well, that's not a boss, that's just a goblin or whatever. Let's kill it, and let's kill that one too. But see that guy here with the, with the many arms? He is kinda tough. Um, I think we had a vision of some sort that told us that we would have to kill a four-legged, uh, four-armed skeleton to gain access um, to the temple or something. Yeah, that was him. He's one mean son of a bitch. But obviously he can't stand fire, although he also has a fireball attack. He has a very uh, tough melee attack and fireballs. Uh, to shoot you over a distance. Okay, so uh, let's switch back to the cat. But that was actually the first boss fight we had. It was kinda... well, it worked quite well, actually. Oh, come on, you should die. What's in the chest here? Oh, that's a horn, a dragon horn. You, uh, well, you can also shoot fireballs with that. It's a good thing we get that because we used up our fireball wand. And there's another goblin in here. Uh, dead. What's that? It's just a bay and a few statues for decoration. So, oh yes, whenever you touch one of those obelisks, you get a new form. Kurt, the gods are granting you the form of the Khan, the healer. Through the door to the north is the temple. There you will find the way to the castle. Okay, and see, now we got a new form. Well, you don't see it now, but you see it now here. That's uh, corn. Oh yeah, see, um, the human has uh, 100 hit points max, the cat has 210 hit points max, and the corn only has 14 hit points out of 20, 20 hit points max. But he re regenerates them quite fast, see now he already has 15. And he has 0 exper po experience points, which means he's at level 1, and I intend to leave him at that. Because, uh, the f you know, the smaller his maximum hit point amount is, the faster he regenerates uh, the whole sum of it. And if you have like 100% of the hit points of the corn, you also have 100% of the hit points of um, the cat, for instance. So you can regenerate uh, all the hit points of the cat quite fast in the form of the healer. And if you would level him up, he would have more hit points, it would take him longer to get the maximum amount of hit points and well therefore it would also take longer for the cat to gain the maximum amount of hit points so it's a good thing to leave him at one well he has some special abilities for instance that here you can uh, cast a light spell that here is a protective spell that spell can hide him um, that here is a telekinesis spell well it's okay for grabbing things that you can't quite reach and that here, well, you know, summons some insects. But I don't fight with the corn, I only fight uh, with the cat and with other forms. Yeah, so well, now we're at the temple. Level 7. So let's explore the temple a bit, shall we? Okay, so there's nothing here. What do we get? Oh, that snake does not look friendly. Do you like my shuriken? Oh, see, there are several snakes. Okay, now I'm gonna scratch you. Ouch! It does some damage, but it goes down. Try to find only one snake at a time. Don't get surrounded by them. Or the game will be over quite soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so what else do we have? There's another snake. Too far away? Okay, now we connect. Let's scratch it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's a truckload of damage. Okay, uh, let's backtrack our steps. And so, well, see the corn now has to, well, regenerate the hit points. You can also use the healing spell of the corn, the healing ability. See, it regenerates a lot of hit points quite fast. So we have to wait for two more, 18. But the corn cannot regenerate uh, mana. Only the human can regenerate mana. Okay, let's switch back into cat form and continue fighting. Oh, skeletons. Oh, see that mage here that's shooting those green balls? Uh, when those green balls hit you, you lose mana. Oh, fuck you, go down. See how he drains your mana? Go down fast, man. When your mana reaches uh, zero, you will, uh, you know, shape back to human form. Well, well, well. Don't have much mana. That's the problem here. Can't help it though. Let's see whether we can kill that guy. With a sword. Yeah, okay, it works too. Uh, but I'm not too happy with it. I'm not too happy with it. We should... Uh, heal one more time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A skeleton is approaching? No way. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah, okay. Shall be enough. Yeah. Corners are always a good uh, place to attack enemies. Because the AI is kind of stupid. Sometimes they can't walk around the corner. Use that to your advantage. And be careful. There's probably a room like that on the other side of the, f of the hall. See? Ah, yes. I'm gonna kill you! With my magic sword! Now he drains the last of the mana that we have. Stupid little bastard. Get away! And now, well, we'll play a while as the human because we need to re regenerate, regenerate our mana points. Which is quite a slow process. Excuse me? No. I thought someone was attacking us. And there's another blue thingy that we gotta destroy. Okay. Worked. So yay, we have four <laughs> power points, four mana points. Oh damn you, damn you, damn you, damn you. That's going to take a while. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, okay, okay. See, I uh, hear and uh, here are secret doors that we couldn't open, but they will open later in the game. So let's move on. See? 
have no mana so it does not make much of a difference. Dead. Well well there should be a few more snakes around here I think. Where are they? Oh more skeletons. Shuriken is a very nice weapon. Yay! Now we have 125 power points and 125. Oh, it's equal. Uh, mana and hit points equal them each, you know, are equal. Well, you have the same amount of mana and hit points. Let's say it like that as a human. Ah, that was the last one actually, and see, that opened a door here. But we still gotta explore the part in the middle. What may we find here? Oh, well, you gotta be kidding me, that probably was a snake. No? What attacked me? Shit, see that guy? Ah, ha, 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 not funny. Okay, well then, use the horn. How do you like them apples? Yay! Killed him. Now the horn is out of power. That was the second of those uh, four-armed uh, skeletons. Quite a bitch. Oh yeah, since we got a new level we have more power now. And see, here are four obelisks, but all of them are missing, you know, the top element. We have to find them. And if you take a look at the map... No, I wanted to go to the map. Thank you. You see that there are teleporters here, but you can't access them. You can only access that one here. So well, yeah, we should probably go there. But I'm not sure what will await us on the other side, so I will save. Okay, well done. Oh, yes, I remember. Let's transform back into cat form. Yeah, see? That's a werewolf. Quite a bitch. Kill it. Scratch it. I'm gonna scratch you. You go down, my friend. You go down. Okay, and we can teleport back. At least not from here. So we're on level 11 now. But there's no specific order here. I'm a friend of your grandfather's. He tells me you must break the curse on this castle by killing the werewolf lord in the tower and restoring the obelisk. Okay, so that obviously is a friend of our grandfather, but we can't free him. It's locked. Actually, most of those doors probably are locked. So we gotta kill the werewolf king here. Everything is locked? Oh, you. You are not locked. You are dead soon. Yeah, now. What? Who wants some? There's another one. Okay, so, well, let's call it a day, shall we? So, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye.